Hey everybody, how's it going? My name is Drew, other known on the internet as Like Butter, and today I'm going to be showing you guys a step by step tutorial on how to get Daisy for Arma 2 installed in on your computer. This includes every type of mod that's come out with the exception to Breaking Point because it's ran on a different installer, but it's pretty much the same exact thing. So I make a lot of Daisy videos. I stream Daisy a lot and the people who are seeing my videos and are new to the game want to know uh, how to get Daisy installed on their computer, whether their computer can run it, and I'm going to show you all of that in this tutorial. So all of the links will be in the description below, and if this tutorial does help you out, I really appreciate it if you drop the like so that more people can see it. Um, this is an awesome game, you know. It, it's very buggy, but it's the experience that makes it so much fun. Anyways, the first link in the description below is uh, going to bring you to a page that I'm looking at right here. Uh, this is the Arma 2 Combined Operations. This is required uh, to be running Daisy or to play any type of mod on Arma 2. Um, it's $30. You basically just put in your um, date of birth. If you are younger than 18, I suggest that you put in uh, your parents' information because I believe if you put in a date um, that it isn't going to make you over 18, they're going to uh, not allow you to get the game. But anyways, um, so you're going to hit enter. It's going to bring you here. Um, it's going to say add to cart. Oh, it looks like it's on sale right now. You guys are lucky. It's $24.99. Or I don't know if the price went down, but when I bought it, it was $30. Um, so you just hit that, add to cart, get it installed. And once that is all installed on your computer, uh, before I like to do it before you download the mod for DayZ. Because what happens is a lot of people obviously got Arma 2 strictly to play DayZ. And what they do is they play Ar or they buy Arma, they download it, and then they immediately download the DayZ um, the Daisy files and then they can't get into a match they can't get into a server the problem is is that your computer needs to read the game first so what I do and what fixed it for me is I went into Arma 2 and played them like probably 20 seconds of a mission and then exited out um, so that you can get your profile set up and stuff like that then what you're gonna do is you're gonna click the second link link in the description below um, this is going to be Daisy Commander. Now, what Daisy Commander is, is um, basically a server list and a little program that was made, I believe, by one of the Daisy fans. I, I think it was fan made, but it's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful program. Um, it shows you all of the servers. Uh, that you could ever want. Um, it has tons of filters, tons of ways to get into a server that you want to play on. So um, you're gonna go down here. I know it's a little, it's kind of hard. They have it in a weird spot, but it is right here. Get Daisy Commander Installer. Now you're gonna click this, and you're gonna hit Save File and then Download. But I'm not going to do that because I already have it installed. Okay, so now once you have Daisy Commander installed it's gonna look a little something like this. Okay, just to give you a rundown of the program and how it works, um, it's pretty simple. You can search for a server over here if you know a friend is in a server and he knows the name of it, you can search it here. Here's your filters, you can hide the lock, the unofficial, the wrong Arma 2 version, wrong mod version. Um, if you want to make sure that you have third person, you can put the, uh, change that to green. Uh, you can play around with this. It's really, really self-explanatory. Here are the number of servers that are available. It's refreshing them all here. Now, what you guys need to know about is this right here, install slash update. This is all of your mods right here. Uh, believe me, I had Daisy Commander when it was only Daisy. And look at how far it's come. You got Namalsk, you got Fallujah, you got Linger, um, you got a whole bunch of mods here. So all you're gonna do is just hit install. So if I wanna install, um, say the Fallujah update or whatever, I'm gonna hit install. And it's so simple, it's just gonna install the files right here, right from your Daisy commander. So of course, this is the original Daisy. 
Um, so if you're just trying to play the original DayZ, you want to make sure that this is updated. Make sure that your updater is dated, updated, your commander. See, I don't have the uh, commander. There was an update and I didn't update it. But Arma 2 and DayZ need to be updated. Um, and then you can download all of your mods right from here. Now, if you want to know how to get into a match, it's as simple as double clicking this. So if I double click this, it's going to launch Arma, it's going to open up the game, and I'm actually going to close that because I don't want to open up Arma right now, but uh, over here it's going to show you the number of players, the ping, what time of the day it is, it's all explanatory right here. Uh, the, these little symbols, you can basically just hover over something if you don't know what it is, and it will tell you everything, so... Uh, this is a really, really neat program. It makes it super easy. And remember, if you're having trouble getting into servers, it most likely means that you have to go on Arma 2 and play a mission before you start, you know, clicking on servers. So uh, another good, cool thing that this has, which is kind of in a way screwed live streamers over, is that you can add friends. And it's not one of those friends lists where you can, where you uh, have to accept it. You can basically just put in a name. Let's say uh, John. Put in a name like that. And if there's anybody online right now by the name of John, it will come up in the server list. So what happens to streamers is if they know what your name is, people can go in here, type your name in, and join your match and stream snipe you and basically know where you are and kill you. And that's why streamers have to block out certain parts of their live streams so but it's it's really good if you're just trying to play with friends because you can add your friends and your friends list and that way it's a lot easier to get to the servers that you want these are my recent servers uh, that I've been playing on it's all really self-explanatory this daisy commander is very 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 good and very easy that's all you're going to need to do. Now, if you're wondering whether uh, your computer will run DayZ command or uh, run DayZ, I'm sorry, excuse me, or Arma, uh, there is this test here, which is going to be the third link in the description. Um, you, I'm pretty sure you just download. I think this is saying that I need a Java plugin, but just get the Java plugin. Uh, it will test what your computer is capable of, and it will tell you what the recommended is. It will tell you what your graphics card performance is. It'll basically tell you if your computer can run uh, Arma 2 or not. So you might want to, this might want to go step one if you have an older computer. I have a custom built computer, it was $1,600. So if I were to test this right now, um, it, all, the bar would be completely full. I've done it before. And look at, it shows, it shows exactly what it'll do. This is just an example. So anyways, um, this is, if anybody has any type of questions, make sure to leave it in the comment section below. This was as simple as I could break it down. There might even be an easier way to do this, but this will get the what, the job done. I'm telling you, Daisy Commander is the way to go. It's very, very simple. It's It's just, it's so convenient because... I'm not very smart with having files and all of that stuff. You know, I, I don't really understand it where you have to replace files with this and that. No, Daisy Commander will just do it for you and it's super, super simple. And if you enjoyed the video and you learned something, make sure to drop a like. I hope to see you guys all on Daisy. I know I'm going to have a lot of open lobbies. Uh, my stream's been getting bigger and bigger. I'm going to have a server where you guys can come play with me and uh, just have a good time. And I know for a fact that the Daisy standalone is going to be one of the best games of all time and I can't wait for it. So remember my name is Like Butter and I will talk to you all next time. Take it easy everybody.